back everyone my name is Patrick you're watching the Oilers rundown unfortunately today's episode I don't know if there can be really any good news coming out of it unfortunately it's all pretty down news today start off with the big news in Edmonton TSN 1260 is no more Dustin Nielsen Jason Greger low tide they had an amazing lineup on that station as of 9 a.m. this morning, I believe it was. That radio station is no more. The news caused big shockwaves around Edmonton. It was just really out of nowhere. I don't think anybody saw that coming. So my thoughts certainly go to all the staff of TSN 1260. They weren't the only radio station. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how many I heard, but there was cuts right across Canada by Bell, the parent company of TSN. So... Just a really crappy day for all those guys. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them will find new pathways, new jobs here. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to probably see some new podcasts here pop up over the next little while. But uh, yeah, like I said, my thoughts go out to everyone involved in that. And uh, definitely going to miss TSN 1260. It was a staple here at Edmonton for a very long time. And Dustin Nielsen, Jason Greger, Low Tide, like I mentioned. A whole bunch of other people too. I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but... Uh, yeah, it was a great radio station, provided a lot of great content, and we're certainly going to miss it here in Edmonton. The other piece of really sad news today, I was fully expecting Noah Philp to challenge for a role on the Edmonton Oilers this fall in camp. And unfortunately, he won't be playing hockey anywhere. Noah Philp releasing this statement this afternoon. I want to start off by thanking the Edmonton Oilers and Bakersfield Condors. The treatment of players and overall atmosphere they've created is amazing. I have nothing but respect for everyone within both organizations, and I'll always be grateful for the opportunity I received. I'm at a time in my life where I want to focus on things outside the realm of hockey. I'm doing well, and I wish all the best to the players, coaches, and staff in Bakersfield and in Edmonton. So yeah, guys, just really crappy news. You definitely see why the Oilers made that move to pick up Jaden Groob from the New York Rangers a couple weeks ago. He's that right shot, very similar player to Noah Philp, and definitely seen as the potential replacement for Noah Philp here going forward. So best wishes go out to Noah. Wish him all the best going forward. And uh, just, yeah, really sad that we're not going to see him as an Edmonton Oiler or Bakersfield Condor next season. And the next bit of kind of crappy news, Daniel Nutrient Bowman of The Athletic had a sit-down Q&A with Oilers president and GM Ken Holland. Normally, I'm really excited for these, get some information from behind the curtain with Ken Holland, but uh, all the information he revealed today, none of it got me very excited at all. Ken Holland said he's had pretty much no discussions with Steve Steos regarding his future still. He said that towards the end of the season, but I thought with the new events with the Ottawa Senators coming up here that maybe some more talk would have happened with Steve Steos. Apparently there has been nothing so far. Ken Holland seems content to let Steve Steos walk if the Ottawa Senators do decide that they want to go after him. Like I said in yesterday's video, that couldn't happen until around September, but it looks like Steve Steos could still potentially walk from the Edmonton Oilers, and it's something that's not the end of the world, right? It's not like the Edmonton Oilers have to have Steve Steos next year as their general manager, but he looks like a guy that has a lot of potential, so you'll hate to see him just walk, and for the president and GM to have such kind of a cavalier attitude about it, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way, so... I didn't like hearing that in the article. If you were excited at all about the possibility of Travis Konechny possibly being traded to the Edmonton Oilers or even Carter Hart for that matter possibly coming to the Edmonton Oilers, you can pretty much put both those rumors to rest. According to Ken Holland, Travis Konechny, Carter Hart aren't happening. We knew Carter Hart was pretty unlikely. He stated pretty much right from the get-go that he was coming back with Stuart Skinner and Jack Campbell. So. That one's not too surprising, but Ken Holland adding that he can't add any other bigger contract players and Travis Konechny is two years, 5.5 million per season. Obviously, he can't name certain players. He didn't come out and say the Oilers aren't going to trade for Travis Konechny. He can't mention players by name, of course, but he didn't make it sound like that was even a remote possibility that the Oilers would do that. I mean, in these interviews, you can't take everything Ken Holland says at face value like he holds certain things back I remember back when the Oilers were shopping Miko Koskinen a bit if you ask Ken Holland about it he was he was keeping Miko Koskinen there was no question about it but you'd still hear in the rumor mill that Koskinen could be moved and almost was moved about two years ago now so 
that's just one example. I mean, Ken Holland's not going to reveal everything to the media. So I'm not saying 100% for sure we're not going to see a Travis Konechny or a Carter Hart trade or something similar to that with other teams. But this article certainly doesn't fill you with a ton of confidence that a trade like that could happen. Ken Holland did reveal the Oilers are going to qualify all of their restricted free agents. He's hoping to sign Clem Costin, hoping to sign Ryan McLeod. He said he wasn't in a rush to get Evan Bouchard done before July 1st. I think Evan Bouchard should be a priority to get done before July 1st. I think he's going to be the guy, well, I don't think, he is going to be the guy that takes up most of the Oilers' remaining cap space. So getting Bouchard done should be the priority to me, but Ken Holland taking the patient approach as he always does. So we'll see what happens here. But once again, that's another thing in the article that rubbed me the wrong way. And to wrap up with the article, it doesn't sound like Philip Broberg is going to go anywhere. Again, still possible that he is moved, but Ken Holland kind of steering in the direction that he's not going to be moving Philip Broberg. And it doesn't sound like the Oilers are going to be moving any of their upcoming draft picks in the draft. They're going to be hanging on to the picks that they have. So if you were hoping they were going to move one of the draft picks to try and improve in a trade this summer, it doesn't look like it's going to happen at least right away. But overall, guys, like I said, you can't take everything at face value. Ken Holland isn't going to reveal everything to the media, but as I mentioned, it just didn't fill me with a ton of confidence. You want to see the Oilers try and take a next step. They're going to have a great team no matter what. Not saying they won't, but you'd like to see them make those little improvements here. I think his focus is on the defense, and that's probably where it should be. That's really where the Oilers' weakness is. They can score plenty. They don't really have to have a player like Travis Konechny. The focus should be on defense, so hopefully he can find a way to add something here over the summer or in the fall. Might have to wait till the trade deadline. We'll see what happens here, guys, but uh, overall, just kind of a sad, crappy, rainy day here in Edmonton today, so hopefully the next bit of news is a bit more cheerful. And to wrap up, I guess I should congratulate the Vegas Golden Knights on winning the Stanley Cup last night. For two years in a row, the Edmonton Oilers have been eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup champion. So hopefully it's us raising that Stanley Cup next year. That's all for me for now, guys. But let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.